Real quick, let me know if y'all enjoyed this video. I'm editing a reaction. Usually they're just one take, but let's get into it, bro. Get it, man. We brought together six brides to be. Hi, my name is Jacqueline, and I'm getting married. Hi, I'm Savannah, and I'm getting married. Hi, my name is. Yo, actually, true story. Uh, okay, uh, we were on, you know, vacation. All right, it was a very sad world, bro. Uh, the bride, okay, the bride to be. Let's just say she was. Heather, and I'm getting married. Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm getting married. Don't get fucking married, bro. Hi, my Don't name do is it. Amy, and if you get married, and she goes on a girls' trip. You're the sixth man, all right? You're going on the trip with him. That's all I'm saying. You're going on a trip. Tatiana and I'm getting married. You're going on a trip, bro. One of them is a divorcee. If the group discovers who Evil the liar ass is, world, bro. they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire- All right, we know how the game works, dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when are you guys getting married? Um, we're getting married 11-11-22. Okay. Oh, that's cute. 11, 11, 22. Oh, I guess because 11, 11 is like make a wish, right? <laughs> August 20th for us. We actually just decided um, we would like a September wedding. Cat, it's her already. I already know it. Not because she's fat. You were the one thinking it. Getting married next month on the 22nd. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, so I don't have a wedding date set yet just because my fiance is in nursing school. So he'll be done in August. So sometime probably next year. Yeah is when the date potentially will be, yeah. Okay. When you're engaged, Yo, like, the first thing you want to do is start planning your wedding. How are lie. your wedding preparations going? Pretty good so far. We actually have a destination wedding. We're getting married in Minnesota, so. Are you from Minnesota? Minnesota is your destination? Uh, he is. I'm from Wisconsin, so my family's gonna drive over. We actually wanted to do a destination wedding. However, a lot of our family members can't actually travel. So we decided on doing a very traditional Mexican wedding. Me and my fiance talked about potentially doing something really small, whether it's like a celebration in someone's backyard or just eloping. I think the older I get, the more realistic I want to become about my finances because totally, yep. it's so expensive. Yeah. How many Maybe. people are you guys <laughs> hoping to invite? A hundred or less. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I have a really big family, yeah. and she has a really big family, what? so we're kind of hoping for it to be less than two hundred. Did you guys yeah. know the proposal? Two hundred? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean I kept send sending her. Wait. Okay, so she's lesbian. So who gets on one knee? <laughs> what the fuck? Hints, you know. She did it in a completely oh, weird way. Oh. She, she basically <laughs> chances to talk, so I didn't really get to hear her story. See you. I think people were suspicious of me because I wasn't like talking enough. Maybe it was. Yo, Savannah got the IG down here. Or, like what? All right, she's getting married. Fuck. Well, I mean, not what I said, but more of like what I didn't say, you know? Okay, I feel like we should dive into details because I feel yeah, like that's yeah. kind of the first thing you forget if like your wedding was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, what was the last vendor you guys locked down? Mine was our DJ. <laughs> well, I'm still kind of planning, yeah. but I already went to see a couple of venues that I am interested in and uh, I have my eye on one and that's in Chino Hills. It's a beautiful hacienda with like, I don't know if you guys seen the horse stables and all that. Every time. I feel like she's talking out of her ass. I don't know why. I'm Heather asked a question. Amy would answer first, so it would skip over me. So maybe she's trying to just like quickly answer first. I like reached out to a few photographers through Instagram, but the people that I was interested in aren't available. So I got to kind of figure that out. How was your guys' engagement? Just engagement. Look, I can take pictures for $100 and a free plate of food. I'm gonna be honest. Just with you. Like yeah, a proposal. Yeah, just a proposal. Mine was unexpected, and we had talked about just marriage, but honest. I wasn't sure when or if it was My coming. But we went to too. Yosemite Don't in September for it. the weekend, and he proposed like at the beginning of the trip at the base of Half Dome. It was very, it was perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine was actually in Utah. Um, I do. I'm an avid hiker, oh, so oh. he took me on a a hike that I really wanted to go to. It's called Lake Blanche, uh, and she uh, proposed to me basically um, after the. She playing the gay card. You can't vote the gay guy out. Well, the gay. You can't vote the gay out, you know? Like, because then it's like, you voted the gay guy. 
fuck, dude? Like, Whatever. Which was horrible because I was like sweating. And <laughs> I looked horrible. So yeah, she was, yeah. So I heard Amy slip up pronouns a bit, but even then I wasn't quite sure because I wasn't sure if her fiance had maybe transitioned and she was getting used to the new pronoun. Bye guys. Bye. Because I was talking so fast, I did notice that I, you know, mispronounced my pronouns and I was like, oh, I'm doomed. That's it. Raise your hand if you think dude. the mole is still in the box I'm and you would like to continue the game. Okay, um, I'm curious what you guys think about divorce. Um, I, I'll go first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Connor and I are having a religious ceremony, so we definitely look at marriage in a very spiritual I ain't gonna lie. Look, I got the cross on my neck. Oh, shit. All right, it's usually on my neck. But that thing lame as hell. That is lame, bro. That is lame. I, I'm just being real. It's lame compared to everything else. It's lame. Oh, what? It's, it's lame. It's super dude. obvious, but I, I don't want to get married if I ever think that there's divorce on the horizon. Yeah, um, same. I guess when I say I do, I'm committed. So I don't judge anyone who is divorced, but mm -hmm. I do understand that sometimes things happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least for myself, and again, same as you. Like, I know people that have gotten divorced, and I just don't want to. Like, I just want to, like, crack her with a fucking golf ball or something. Like, I feel like I could ping that shit off that forehead. I don't know why. Allow that to be she seems like, like a really fantastic lady. She's I don't know why. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Let me put a spotlight on me. But I work in bridal, so I'm actually a bridal stylist. So a lot of times I get brides come in who are actually like, this wasn't the best thing for me. So now this is my, like, rebirth. So I believe that some people need the divorce to pretty much figure out their next step. But yeah. our end goal is to stay together right. for, yeah. right. forever. Is there any fears that you guys have about coming together in a marriage? So I think it's not a fear with us. It's a fear like, I want to have babies, but then it's like money, <laughs> then it's like wedding money and honeymoon money and like just life money overall. Right. So I feel like that's always a concern, but like, I feel like we're working it out together so we can figure it out together. Yeah. yeah. In dating him, I've come to know him as a person that I can trust. Um, and I believe that together, we're a really good pair. Um, and that we work well on in still conflicts if they do come up. She said she was in the wedding industry, and I thought, you know, if anyone can kind of make their way through this, it'd be someone who's surrounded by wedding mm. stuff. Mm. Heather and Rachel were giving off like big bridal, like excited energy. So then it just kind of came down to Jacqueline. I'm not like a really bubbly person. It may be perceived as someone who's not as. Now they're just being racist. If you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. That's unanimous. All right, let's get it. <laughs> so the game is over. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you all win. However, if the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box I'm saying the and fat bitch. I, I mean, um, Mexican lady. I like winning, <laughs> so it's just fun. Will the mole please reveal themselves in three, two, one? Oh. It's like, it's like, it's like, there's a reason. There's a reason why I don't watch all these videos, because I would get all of them right. You know? oh. like, it's like, <laughs> What's your story? I was uh, 20 years old when I got married. Um, yeah, my ex-husband was 10 years older than me. I did it. Oh, for all right, I thought she was about to say he was 10. Okay. For the wrong reasons, right. I did it for my family's acceptance. They did not accept that I was gay. They come from a very traditional household where they have always believed that once you're married, that's it. So to them, it was like an embarrassment and it made me feel like shit. At the end of the day, this is my life. This is who I am. I'm still open to marriage. I have a beautiful girlfriend that I am very in love with. And finally, my parents are very accepting of it. So um, hopefully, you know, maybe I'll be the one getting engaged. Do you hear that? Oh. <laughs> this is the biggest hint drop I've ever seen. <laughs> But, you know, congratulations to all of you. You guys are gonna be beautiful brides. Hey man, shout out uh, Amy, dude. All right, let's get into it. Brightness, <clears throat> calibration.